So this is going to be a quick unscripted video because for some reason Sony decided to just drop the teardown out of nowhere and just as they were dropping the teardown this morning I posted my video up for the day and of course everybody was talking to me about hey where is the teardown video they just released the teardown what's going on with the teardown so this is a quick video just going over what we found out from the teardown video and some of my reactions to it because it was a lot of exciting stuff so I'm gonna go from the beginning of the video to the end and we're just gonna talk uh, about what I personally saw there and some of the cool stuff that I personally saw there as well so right off the bat you can screw off the the stand of the PlayStation 5 so the stand at the bottom you can screw it off and I originally thought it was going to be clipped on even at the bottom but it seems that it's going to be screwed on from uh, if you're trying to stand it in I guess portrait mode is what I would say here and when you screw it off I was wondering I was literally wondering what you would do with the screw and then they show us that there's actually a nice little sleeve or little slot area that you can kind of put the PlayStation 5 screw into and then there's like a little cap that you can take out and put onto the PlayStation 5 to seal the area at the bottom that the screw would go into which I thought was pretty neat uh, beyond that removing the plates are easy so you can see that they can remove plates the plates on both sides of the console this is stuff that we've seen before from earlier leaks and now whether Sony wants to do it themselves or or not third party retailers third party case makers whatever it may be will be making plates whether Sony wants to officially do it themselves or not third parties will definitely be doing it and I'm excited for the unique designs I thought only one side would be able to be lifted off but no both sides can be lifted off and it essentially at that point pretty much looks like a fully custom PlayStation 5 if you just uh, take off both sides of the plates and you know try to customize your controller as well I'm excited for it I feel like I'm gonna buy so many plates for my console even though I'm not gonna really take it off it's just gonna be standing there I just want it to look cool and probably the fo the first thing I'm gonna do is probably maybe get all black we'll see all black matte black just put it on the side plates and have it looking clean next to my TV but moving on from there they showed us the big fan um, on the top side of the console it works on both sides of the console to uh, coordinate with the, the the vents all across the bottom of the the PlayStation 5 and all around the PlayStation 5 itself they work in conjunction with each other to cool the the console internally which is pretty cool there's also this is probably one of maybe some people might find this small but I found this really really big and uh, I'm not sure if Xbox has this or not but there's dust catchers that catch the dust on your PlayStation 5 and you just have to vacuum the dust from there to keep the console itself clean I thought that was very well thought out in my opinion that's going to be <laughs> that's going to be very useful for a lot of people and in the case of maybe three years down the line that your console is just dust filled and you haven't cleaned it this will make a lot of people's lives easier and going beyond that they showed us the SSD expansion and how to expand it it's actually really simple you just take off the the plate from one side and take off one screw and you know just slot in the the SSD over there they didn't tell us the size limit on the SSD slot so in theory you could slap on more than one terabyte a one terabyte SSD storage compared to the Series X that seems to be limited to exactly one terabyte of expandable storage we'll see how that works out um, then moving on from there they actually took out the fan from the PlayStation 5 and showed us how big it is it's 120 millimeters in diameter and 45 millimeters in thickness to take air from both sides of the console as I mentioned earlier then they showed us the disk drive for the PlayStation 5 it's completely apparently they state it's completely covered with a sheet metal case and mounted with two layers of insulators to reduce disk drive noise and vibration when the discs spin so I've never personally this is personally for me I've never had disc noise issues with PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 I believe maybe you guys have I personally personally haven't so it's great to hear that the PlayStation 5 will be continuing this as well uh, they also finally confirmed Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1 so I talked about this earlier this year 
Xbox Series X is going with Wi-Fi 5, while the PlayStation 5 is going with Wi-Fi 6, and I think they're going with Wi-Fi 6 mainly for PlayStation VR 2. They want that higher speed and bandwidth, probably to uh, support the higher graphics fidelity and, you know, better latency that's going to come with the PlayStation VR 2. So I'm excited for all of that. They're, they're probably going to have some type of wireless Oculus Link type of situation, so I'm excited for all of that. And they confirmed that GPU, RDNA 2, let's end that conversation now. It said RDNA 2, we already know it's RDNA 2. People are saying, wait for the teardown and you'll see it's not RDNA 2. It's RDNA 2. Let's move on. Um, beyond that, they showed that, uh, they confirmed that the console, in fact, uses liquid metal cooling. I remember many thought this would be too expensive when we saw the patents and... Now we can actually see that it's actually confirmed. People were thinking, no way the PlayStation 5 would have liquid metal cooling. I saw some comments on this. I saw some videos on this, but we have it. It's confirmed. It's confirmed on the PlayStation 5. They state that they spent two years to get liquid metal cooling to work, and I'm happy that they got it to work, and they state that they went with liquid metal cooling to ensure long-term, stable, high cooling performance for the PlayStation 5, so that's all great stuff, of course. Then they went over to the PS5 heatsink. It uses a heat pipe, uh, heat pipes, and apparently it's similar to the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. And thanks to the shape and airflow, it's made it possible to achieve the same performance as a vapor chamber. So all around, from what I've seen, it's all pretty impressive stuff. And I'm excited for the PlayStation 5 even more so than I was before. The liquid metal cooling, the dust catchers. I'm so ex the, the dust catchers is such a small thing, but I'm excited for that. Um, and I've heard some say the Series X has a better design. I personally very much disagree. The PlayStation 5 seems to be very well thought out from the dust catchers to how you can actually take off the stand, unlike the Series X where it's just stuck at the bottom of the console, to how you don't need proprietary SSDs and it's just kind of one clip away and one clip and one screw away and it doesn't seem to be limited to just one terabyte. It could be more. So all around, exciting stuff, well-made video, very quick, very simple, just telling you straight to the point what they were talking about. Good job on Sony. Good job on everybody on the team who got that working. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Down below, What do you guys think about the PlayStation 5 teardown now, now, now that we finally have it? Are you excited about the dust catchers? I really need to know. <laughs> I really need to know your guys' opinion on the dust catchers. I'm excited for that stuff. But let me know your th uh, your uh, your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. As it always helps, and subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is to body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comment section with Sony tore it down. Because at this point, Sony tore it down. Sony tore down the PlayStation 5 and we got what we wanted. So if you were excited for all of that and watch the video, destroy the comment section with Sony tore it down. And I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do because I appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos. And now I'll check you guys out on the next one.